During an already rough economy, those receiving Social Security benefits are facing another struggle. If you count on Social Security or Supplemental Security income, listen up. The government plans to announce you won't be receiving a raise to your benefits next year. News 10's Kate Green explains how this will affect folks in the Wabash Valley. Meet Ryan Ray. He's just one of the 58 million people who collect Social Security or Supplement Security income. Income Ryan relies on even with a job. I'm limited on what I can do. Ryan was born with spina bifida, a spinal cord birth defect. He says he struggles enough keeping up with his medical costs. They take money out of my Social Security for my medical insurance and that's money that I don't have anymore. Paying for rent is another struggle, but it's only going to get harder for Ryan because he won't receive his cost of living adjustments next year, also known as COLAs. Last year was the first year without the boost in benefits since 1975. Now Ryan will likely see this same Social Security letter again. I don't know where the extra money is going to come from. Why won't they receive this adjustment? The recession. COLAs are automatically set each year by the inflation measure. To simplify, when the price of goods and services goes up, you get a raise. When the prices of goods and services go down, you don't. Even though it's only $20 a month for cost of living, it's money he relies on. They say the cost of living has not changed, and I disagree with that because my my bills have risen. While his bills go for up, his payments won't change. Ryan and millions of others will have to work things out. It's on my hands, so I just hope for the best. Hoping help will come sooner than later. In Linton with photojournalist Nick Nebesny, Kate Green, News 10. A raise in Social Security benefits is not expected to happen until at least January of 2012.